Namaste. Synonymous with Bollywood and the Taj Mahal, the next best known thing about India is probably butter chicken. There's a million butter chicken recipes online, and I said, what can I do to make this special? So I said, well, I really like chicken and biscuits. I bet you butter chicken and biscuits would be even better. So we're here to make butter chicken and biscuits. We'll start by marinating the chicken and then I'll kind of get into the rest of the stuff that comes with it. So really easy. This is one chicken. If you saw my chicken butchery video, you would be able to do this for yourself. If not, be like the rest of the uppies and buy your chicken cut up. So into this bowl, I have a cup of yogurt. I've got a tablespoon each of garam masala, which is a bunch of different spices mixed together. Fenugreek leaves. I don't know what fenugreek is, but I know that these are the leaves of it dried out and you have to have it in this recipe. It's not one of those things that you can leave out. I've got a tablespoon of turmeric and a tablespoon of red chili powder. All that joins the party. I've got half a lemon that I'm gonna juice into this. Make sure to catch all the pits with your hand. And to this, I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt and we're gonna give this a mix. There's no way to do this without getting your hands dirty, so just get comfy. Cover every little nook and cranny of the chicken, make sure the spices are really well mixed in. And when your hands feel disgusting and the chicken is well coated, you're done. You wanna leave that to marinate for at least four hours, if not overnight. All right, now for the fun part. We make the sauce. They don't call it butter chicken for nothing. There's clarified butter or ghee, as we call it in Hindi. There's whole butter, there's heavy cream, so Try to hang with me, I will post the recipe in the comments. So red onion, we're just gonna slice this up nice and thin so it cooks quickly. Red onion goes into about three or four tablespoons of ghee, and that's the sound you want. To this red onion, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. What is ginger garlic paste? It's literally exactly what it sounds like. It is equal parts ginger and garlic. They go into a blender with just enough oil to keep it, to get it going. So if you're gonna add a quarter cup of ginger, you're gonna add a quarter cup of garlic, and you're gonna add about half that amount of oil just to get the blender going. So ginger and garlic paste goes in. And I want lots of color here, but I wanna get there slowly. So if I let this go too fast, it's just gonna burn the ginger and the garlic and burn the onion. I wanna accomplish all those same things, but I wanna do it slowly. So we're gonna start giving this a little bit of a mix. The best part about this is the way your house smells afterwards. Some people hate the smell. I really like the smell and it's gonna taste fantastic. Chicken's been marinating for a little while. I've got a tray here that I've lined with some parchment paper and I've put a rack down on top of it. So just pull it out, leave all that yogurt on there. These are going into a 500 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until they start to get a really nice crust on the outside of them. Fantastic color on these. See how they're nice and red? They're not burnt, they're red. They're nice and like a deep golden brown. So now we gotta roll a little bit. So I'm gonna take about half a can of tomato puree, about a tablespoon of tomato paste, let's say about a cup of heavy cream, a whole stick of butter, the same spice mix that I used before, all coming to the party, a tablespoon of each. Now we let it do its magic. This is one of those things that you just can't rush. It's gonna take the time that it takes for the flavors to develop. It's gonna be well worth the wait. You know, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I grew up not really loving Indian food. For me, I always associated it as being really, really spicy food. And it wasn't until I, really until I became a chef that I understood that that wasn't true. Um, you know, Indian food isn't necessarily like blow your head off spicy. It's actually really delicate and has a lot of, a lot of nuance to it that you can really grow to appreciate, which it, like for me, it took me becoming a chef to do, but I'm gonna turn the heat right down to nothing and just let that do its thing. Time to check on the chicken. It's been in the oven for about 10 minutes at 500 degrees. We just wanna get a nice crust on the outside of it. We're not trying to cook the chicken all the way through. It's starting to happen. I take these pieces and I wanna put them right into our sauce where they're gonna finish cooking. Everybody in the pool. I'm gonna give this a little while to cook and while that's cooking, I'm gonna come over and work on my biscuits. Uh, super simple biscuit recipe. It's got some lard, it's got a whole lot of butter, flour and some baking soda. I've tried the recipe with those Pillsbury canned things. That works too. Um, there's obviously a lot of work going on here already. So if you wanna make your life a little bit easier and use the, use the pre-made biscuits, I will not judge you, I promise. That fall out. And just lightly, not too much, cause I don't wanna overwork it. Roughly the same size as this pan. In the pan, I've got just some chickpeas and a little bit of cauliflower. I think it's a nice base. Uh, and instead of like the normal stuff that you'd find in a chicken and biscuits, this feels a little bit more Indian to me. On top of my veggies, 
like so. Now I will take my biscuit dough and lay it over top. All right, now to make this even more special, take some butter that I've infused with some garlic and melted. Paint the top of my biscuit dough. There's nothing healthy about this anyway, so there's no point in you skimping on the butter. Everything in there is cooked already, so 400 degree oven for, I'd say about 10 or 12 minutes or until it takes your, your big biscuit to get nice and golden brown. Let us see how we did. Oh, we did good. We did real good. Really simple garnish. I'm just gonna grab some cilantro because you can't eat Indian food without some fresh chopped cilantro. All right, grab a nice big spoon. Holy shit. That is amazing. We've got some chickpeas, we've got some chicken, we've got some cauliflower, we've got a whole bunch of biscuit. Guys, there you have the first ever butter chicken and biscuits. Enjoy.